Hello and welcome back to Thronebreaker. So last time, we were actually just like camping out in the middle of the field and heading toward the main quest. So yeah, we got some loot to pick up, so we most certainly will do that. <clears throat> I had a chat with this woman already. Why not? Um, why not? Give me that. Yeah. Oh, Dimratium Bomb! <clears throat> this card is not complete. You can find it in Command Tent. Maybe we're gonna check it out. Let's see what we got. Um. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want that. Uh, that's a very specific option. Uh, I don't think it's gonna be too relevant. Usually. <clears throat> anyway. <laughs> well, thanks for that, game. Uh, I'll be sure to remember having that card and maybe use it. But I'm kind of glad that we have that Demeratium Bomb, because that's actually the... The old Demeratium Bomb. Uh, from Gwent. I think? Maybe not. <clears throat> anyway, where are we heading out? Maybe the best would be just, like, go this way. And just, like... Like... Vacuum up everything over here. Or, but maybe this is like a dead end. I don't know. But I, I, I definitely need to go back a little bit, so <clears throat> might as well do that. Where's the loot? Oh, there. But how do we get there? Okay, we gotta uh, figure it out somehow. If there's zero chance, I'm leaving that. Oh, we can't go. That way. Oh, let's check, check out the, the, the post, the road sign. <clears throat> oh, this is just the fast travel thingy. But it would be nice to just see like, uh, oh yeah, you can go that way. Oh, a map? Milady, <clears throat> the hovel's resident, a peasant by name of... Oh, that's actually my, one of my guys telling me. Who, who's that? Is, it, is that Matt Smith? It's called Report. Just, just a regular report. Probably some just, like, regular soldier, the guy. <clears throat> Milady, the hovel's resident, peasant by the name of Bogan, is a word for you. Claims he saw someone under cover of night bury some sort of treasure near the orchard. Uh, for a small sum, he's offered to sketch a map where it took. Hmm. Yeah, we're gonna pay, like, 50, 50 bucks for that. <clears throat> Thanks. Holy shit! Kill this guy! Kill him! Right now! What the fuck is this? What the fuck is this? <clears throat> what the fuck is this? Come on! So... <clears throat> let's see. So, there are trees. This, this seems pretty interesting, so some odd-looking tent. Um... I don't know what this is. Maybe someone's, uh... Seems like they're just kind of cooking something here, but like the benches almost kind of lined up. Uh, to... Like to make it like more of a social gathering. <clears throat> and of course, the most important piece of this puzzle is the, the dick tree. So, there you go. Uh, we gotta watch out for that. Hmm. Oh, look at that. We can get some guides, but that's not too relevant. I, I think the game is pretty forgiving. <clears throat> We're actually playing it on the hardest difficulty, but even like this, the game is fairly forgiving. What's going on here? As <clears throat> Meave and company traversed the ruddy meadows, strident voices reached their ears. I beg your pardon. I've heard enough. A duel. I challenge you to a duel. A duel? Nonsense. I'd sooner lay you across my lap and give your ass a thorough flailing, you scoundrel! The Queen approached the arguing parties. Two nobles, Lords Cartwright and Mansfield. Quickly, she ascertained they were up in arms over ownership of an orchard lying between their estates. Assisting both nobles, their kinsmen, armed to the teeth, prepared to leap at each other and crush heads. What? That's it? That's easy. I kill them both, take their land. Uh, that's mine now. 
Like... <clears throat> they're idiots anyway. On spotting me, the lords lowered their voices, bowed and presented themselves. Yet they could not keep their ire fettered long and were soon casting aspersions again. Y your grace, Mansfield has seized it. No, no, stolen my land. Land that has been in my family for generations. It is my recompense for your reckless deeds. To burn down me mill in Furchin for a bit of sawdust in your flour? Well, I never. A bit, a bit. Oh, let me at him. Farmhands taken ill, cooks feverish, all from that manure. You are a fraud, sir. A fraud and a thief. Okay. <clears throat> Kill them both. Though she faced the not at all trifling matter of the Nilf Guardian invasion, Meave agreed to settle the dispute. Reynard, who knew the history of every Lyrian and Rivian family seven generations back, served as her advisor. No doubt I would find for the Cartwrights. They are in the right here, as regards the title to the land. Yet your grace must consider. The Mansfields have ever served the crown and never delayed payment of tribute. Whereas the Cartwrights... The Cartwrights are litigious charlatans who owe the royal treasury thousands. Many thousands. I see. <clears throat> Reynard? First of all... Holy crap! You know... The history of every peasant going back generations. I don't care if they're called nobles. They're just like, like raging idiots. You gotta do something more productive with your time. <clears throat> You're killing them both. That's how we're gonna settle it. Or whoever gives me the biggest uh, <clears throat> payoff. It's gotta be a, like a big pay payday. Let's see. Order the orchard to be divided. What the hell is this? Where's the option to kill them both? So either give it to the guy I don't care about, or give it to the other guy I don't care about, or make him. Oh, that's actually, you know, that's that's a little bit better. That's gonna leave both sides unsatisfied, and they're probably gonna, well, uh. Resort to violence. <clears throat> I like that. It's gotta be divided. Easy peasy. I'm just doing it for uh, the sake of chaos. From what I've gathered, you've both burdens on your conscience, said the Queen. And I've neither the time nor the inclination to ascertain who started this feud. You will split the orchard in two. Make do with half a piece. But my Queen... Should my judgment displease you, Mansfield, I can always incorporate the land into the crown. The Queen's threat silenced the feuding lords, yet it failed to bring their conflict to a close. In a few years' time, they were at one another's throats yet again. I don't like that. What do you mean, like, few years' time? Am I living in the future? How does that work? Only few years? Also, that I'm, I'm pretty disappointed. I want to see bloodshed right now. Did they really, like, put it on a hold for a few years? So disappointed in you guys. Look at them. They're ready for, like, a good scuffle. And, and they just didn't do it. What the hell? Also, why not just take their land? Or his land, or whatever. That sounds a lot better. Oh, come on. <clears throat> Meave, you're such a pussy. That's not how we deal business around here. Okay, let's see. Apparently... Oh, shit! This is the dick tree with the special tent. It looks less like a dick. Like right here. Oh, what? That looked like a forge or something, but apparently it's just a... Can I just find that? I don't care. But it's just apparently a log with an accent. Holy fuck. <clears throat> I don't care! I'll take it. Whatever. Let's see what else we got. Sometimes I feel like I'm playing an ad for Gwent. Wait. How do we get there? You be smart. Ooh, look at that. Yeah, I'm... Sure. Oh, come on. 
Oh, I guess we're going <clears throat> around. Can we kill them now? I would like to have the freedom like, hey, what's up, guys? You're dead. <clears throat> well, they have a bunch of decoys. Middle of the field. Hmm. What else we have? Okay, that was a pretty satisfying outcome. Eh. It's pretty bad. Can I kill you? Hey, chicken! Can we just take some pet chickens? Why is pet chicken not a thing? Chickens are cool. Oh, we got the blacksmith guy here. <clears throat> so it seems like this is just gonna be like a, a dead end. Maybe. Shrine. Uh, should we like scout here? Um. Okay. There's something over there, but basically there is like nothing here. Can check out the oh. Why ever do the gods punish us so? To be cast out by Nilfgaard, and now to face beasts. What? Stop complaining. Unbelievable. Oh, yes. Good morale. Like I care. <clears throat> oh, that's gonna be... That's gonna make my next fight easier. Oh, the log. Queen Meave, go get the log. Let the soldiers and everybody in the camp and like... No, no, no. Queen Meave is the one who's gonna get it. <clears throat> What is that? On their way to the capital, Meave and company happened one fine day upon a lone rider. Had I been at her side, I would immediately have recognized his passionate gaze and altogether chivalrous mien. My storyteller, this is not about your sexual preferences. Lone rider? The hell is this guy? Identify yourself, sir. And your intent? Reynard, come on. You can be a little bit more friendly than that. Look at his mustache. How could you not trust this man? Ache of Dinell I am dubbed. And my design I never conceal. Sure, but that was a, like a perfectly wasted uh, explanation right there. That's just asking someone to tell the truth. And they say like, I'm the most honest person ever. Yeah, mate, that's not really helping. <clears throat> the good book says the world is a garden which the gods once conferred upon man. And we men have this garden neglected. In consequence, all manner of filth has made its lair here. Drowners, ghouls, and other kobolds. Yeah, I'm totally with you, Matt Smith. Look at, yeah, I'm, I'm totally with you. What the fuck is this guy on about? Can you just talk like, uh... Like a normal person? What is this? So, we got some hobbies to look out for. What's the big deal? I have sworn ne'er to rest until the day when, with the gods' help, I have rid the world of these beasts and pests. I wander all lands, seeking out evil and facing it in mortal combat. I see. <clears throat> mortal combat? Holy shit. Just like doing full on fisticuffs. But you have, a, like, an armor on? I guess that's still okay. Sure. Um... Uh, yeah, you kind of sound like more of a... Yeah, he's like an older guy, but it kind of sounds like more of, like, a... Naive guy who just... You know, who thinks that his fights are gonna work out for him. Who do we spy? A knight errant? Hmm. Just as likely a madman. Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, that I've got like ten, ten golden madmen. How goes your hunt? Not speed, Ike. The this. Okay, whatever. Uh so what are you hunting exactly right now? How goes your hunt? Caught the trail of any monster? Monster. Too fair a term by far. An exceptionally vile worm has made its lair in nearby caverns. It is said to be the very distillation of filth. A slither in horror. A melange of the macabre. 
Sure, Ike. So you found a snake, like a fancy snake, in a cave. Its head, that of a wild cat of Ophir. <clears throat> it's more full of spiked teeth. The wings of a bat it is said to have. The tail of a scorpion, and from it a thick venom drips. Learned men call this variety a manticore or mardiacore. Mardiacore. I prefer that. <clears throat> I have one follow-up question. Ike, you're on about like, holy shit, I'm the greatest man ever. And now you're just talking to us. Why? Why are you not killing the manticore right now? Hmm? Perhaps it will be most prudent then to send for a witcher. Nah, he's not gonna like that. A witcher? <laughs> Soulless automatons they are, all. Feeding on common folk's fears. What they demand gold to do, I perform without demand of any coin. How the hell are you getting by? Who's paying you? Are you making gold? Are you just robbing people? Because, you know, I'm like, I'm, I'm with you on that one, you know? The witchers take money, take gold, you know? Like, it could be like, could be like a charity service. But realistically, they need gold. Survive, not like they are really getting rich off the whole thing. I think. So... Ike, what the hell? Sereik, far be it from me to discourage you. Your endeavor is noble, no doubt. But from what I have heard, manticores are exceedingly dangerous beasts. Reynard, that's completely unhelpful. To defeat this filth alone could be a difficult task, I'll not deny. Yet try it, I must. For it is what I have sworn before the gods. Yeah, but you're not trying it, are you? You're just, like, camping in the road, bragging to a bunch of strangers, like, even to the queen herself, that how cool you are. I shall help you if you join us. Shit. Do I want that? God's pizza tonight. Okay, just join us. But uh, you gotta keep the mustache, first of all. But talk less. <clears throat> hmm. We shall help you find and fight the Manticore. Provided you then pledge to help us fight an even fiercer and filthier beast. Oh, he's gonna be into that. Of course, my lady. Yet what manner of horror is it? A vipper? A griffin? A drake of some rare form? Um... Neof Guardians. Were it only. Tis a beast of a thousand heads, covered in black armor, its fire consuming whole villages. Come on, Meath, don't encourage him. Holy shit. Just, just be with straight- just be straight with this guy. Noble lady. I know Bestia is only in parts, yet I've seen some of the world, and never have I heard of such a terror. You didn't get it. I told you. You stupid old. You need but look about you, and spot Nilfgaard's legions. There you go. There you go. Just make it obvious. Um. Devastating. But you must forgive me, Your Grace. This <clears throat> struggle between realms is not one to which I can lay a hand. But you don't have a flipping choice. I insist. I insist. I just say I insist. A manticore. How great is its appetite? How many men does it fell in a moon, let us say? It changes. At a time when the horror broods, it may be as many as 20. What the fuck? 20 guys a night? That's insane! I thought it was like, maybe like one guy, uh, I don't know, like every two weeks or like month. That, that's crazy too, but like 20 guys a month or like <clears throat> a day? That's insane! What the fuck? I see. As now you must. Nilfgaard in my capital could mean as many as 20,000 felled. Oh yeah, get get him with the math. Just let him do it. Just like let, let, let the the gears turn in his head. 
You live to fight evil, injustice, do you not? You can fight none greater than by doing so at my side. That's right. The Manticore, your grace, must fall first. As to what happens later, I shall need to consult the good book and petition the gods. Fuck. Matt Smith, <clears throat> while we are hunting this Manticore, just put it in on the first page of his dumb book that Help me, Wonder Woman, whatever. Whatever he, he, like, whatever is gonna make it obvious for him to, to help us. Got Ike. Yeah, we need all the help we can get. Okay. He's Agreed, so be it. For our This monster. Where lies its lair? Where does it prowl? To the north, my queen. A few leagues on. Oh, well, let's go! Okay. Let's see this Ike guy. <clears throat> yeah, we don't care about that. I don't think I can upgrade anything. So, Ike, where are you? He's 10. Whenever an ally takes damage, strength himself by 1. Isn't that terrible? So, we got the wagon. Which is... The 10. 6. I don't know. It's a, it's a 10 for 8. Yeah, I don't know what we really want to play here. Maybe just kick the wagon? Summon all copies of this unit. Yeah. Maybe that's what we gotta do. Fuck it. Let's do it. Eve's army. Alright, we're ready. <clears throat> so apparently it's uh, up to the north. Uh, we gotta pick up something here. Yep. Cool. Where is it? That must be there. Oh, Not a this. Nothing to bury. Blood's all that's left behind. Where's the blood? A whole village. Just one big grave now. Yeah, I I would move if I were you, but. Once we take out the Manticore, you're gonna have an entire village to yourself. Two markers added. This is like a free scouting. <clears throat> Tis in these ravines. Is it? All right. Hey, Manticore, what's up? At the furthest depth of the winding, gloomy canyon, scouts found the maw of a great cavern. Among the boulders outside it, whitening bones lay strewn. Ake dismounted and drew his blade. By the gods' grace, we found the beast's lair, he said, lifting his gaze to the heavens. We need, hey, you need them to shut up. To extend their favor as we battle the filth. Need him to ride in the back. Yeah, let's do it. Eve cast a critical eye at her shield. Wood clad in leather and thin plate. Enough to stop a sword, certainly. But would it protect her from a beast's raging blow? I'll Noticing wait to find out. Raynard approached the queen and said, Your grace, none will utter a disparaging word should you step back. But they will think them, replied Meave. And that's bad enough. The war has begun. I can't appear weak to my fighting men. Without awaiting an answer, Meave strode into the cave. The rest of the company followed, equally full of fear and faith in their queen and commander. Moments later, a great and powerful roar filled the cavern. Oh, here we go, please. <clears throat> okay. Special rules, shorten battle. Manticores are truly terrifying monsters. Let's kill him. 45. Oh, 
only one round. I have actually boosted guys. Transform a damage unit into a bear. Actually pretty good. Or maybe not. Uh, what's the special rule here? So he damages all my units. And I think the goal is to kill the manticore, right? We need to destroy the head. I see. <clears throat> Randomly moving stuff around. Huh. Uh, this seems like a tricky fight. That damage an enemy by this unit's power whenever an ally takes damage. Okay. Well, I gotta think about this. So these start on a timer. Every turn, no, 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 every three turns on turn start, destroy the leftmost enemy unit on the melee row whenever enemy move damage. Let's see, this is tough. What am I doing? Uh, Rivian Pikemans definitely need to be in the deck. Arbulus Plus. Uh, this doesn't seem like a very useful one here. Okay, Lyrium Merlot is probably not gonna be the best. Boost this unit by five. Yeah. Not sure what we want. What's in the deck that it really just screams, you gotta have this. Damage seems good. I'm not sure about the Lyrian Sightman. Wow, we gotta think about this quite a bit. So, he moves my stuff around. Oh, and the head damages itself whenever another limb is destroyed. But we also gotta need some way to kill it. Uh, the head. But Ike might do it. Every three turns on turn start, destroy the leftmost enemy on unit on the melee row. So this is the most dangerous one. Everything else just damages me by two every four turns and moves me around. So we gotta somehow take out the Manticore's tail. Huh. That's for sure. Let's just go like this. Boost all allies by two and damage all enemies by two. I don't think that's gonna be too relevant. Huh. The bear. Do we just go like this? I don't know. It's a bit weird. So we can't lose Ike. That's that's the rule. Also, we probably want to play a, a loyal unit. This is tough. And I beheld the beast. Well, shut the fuck up, Ike. His wicked brow. God's protectors. Okay. So, do I... An ally takes damage. Okay. Can play Ike. Boosted by a little bit. The onward. Where it's close. Shut the, the fuck up! The plate they shred like fine vellum! Wait, what? Strengthen self by one. 
Wait, what? Better than an ally takes damage? Damage an enemy by this unit's power whenever an ally takes damage. I don't think I get it. Prepare to fight if you've any honor. So it does it on deploy and whenever an ally takes damage. Okay. Uh cool with that. We can play the drummer in the front. Army's a waste of time for one like me. Maybe. Getting moved around. Left most of melee row. We Yeah, that's what I was hoping for. I'm coming, I'm coming. Good luck killing the left most now. And uh, a little bit of boost. Hi. Uh, let's just keep buffing Ike. Oh no no no! I think I was wrong. Oh crap! Yeah yeah yeah! I was totally wrong about this guy. Damage a random enemy. Here's the self. Yeah yeah. Okay, never mind that. He just gets stronger all the time. I need to somehow kill the head. How do I do it? I don't think this is gonna help. Transform damage unit into a bear. Oh crap! But well, that didn't help. Okay. Yeah, I don't think that's gonna work. So how are we gonna do it? It's not about uh, the points. It's about doing damage. I'm not even sure if we care about the Manticore kill that much. So, we can, for example, play this in the head, but that's only 6. <laughs> then it's just like randomly hit people. Huh. Yeah. The rule, obviously, to kill the Manticore. How much damage I can do to the Manticore? If I just like crazily commit to one row and uh, try to hit his head all the time, yeah, that's not gonna help us kill the Manticore. Huh? We need to do a, a redo. Uh, just let's just restart. Actually, that might not be good enough. So, these guys need to go away. Uh, this is not helpful. Anything that just gives us points is completely useless. Dealing damage is kinda okay. Who's the lowest ally by the power of the highest ally? That's not gonna help me. That's what we need. We need the Arbalest. Truly. Uh, actually, it would be a nice way to... Yeah, I don't know if we care about the strengthen part. And I yeah, getting out all the regions is, is kind of nice. His wicked brow. God's protectors. Boy. If I could boost it in hand, it would be a little bit better. Order. Yeah. 
So how do we do it? Looting self. So what we want to do is play a bunch of Rivian pikemen. Maybe not. Yeah. Think. Got to be tough. Oh, for sure. Maybe play the Rivian Pike, man. I'm cool. Where it's claws, the hardest plate they shred like. What the fuck up, Pike? Lyrian Lumixes. And uh, let's just boost. Why not? It's fine. And get out the Orbalist. One bolt. Shoot the head. It's not great. We shoot the head again. Give me a target. And boost. Actually boosting this guy would not help that much, or would it? It gives us more more damage. Okay. Beware! Its tail flows with deadly venom. Oh, he just Oh, nice. Oh, we can use Ike as a finisher. I'm dumb. Okay. Now I get it. I thought he had to be on the board, but no, that's not the case. What? Abolista, your command. So, my job is just to take damage. Basically. Oh, I can do that. I'm really good at that, apparently. I'm a monster. Oh, this is actually pretty easy. By the looks of it. He wins the battle, apparently. Prepare to fight, if you've any honor. That's it. We must thank the gods for this victory, both great yeah, and Yeah, shut the fuck up. These guys were pretty helpful. Just to flood the board. Alright. Or hammer. their side, the Lyrians fell the manticore. Later, it was said, the beast's dying wail, multiplied and strengthened as it passed through the caverns, could be heard as far as Spala. See. Now, pray reveal. Have you made your decision? Will you swear to serve me? Are you prepared to take an oath? You better. I am not, Your Grace. <laughs> I can serve only the gods. Yet you seem to hold them in low regard. I noted monastic silver in your wagons. What? Um... I'm bringing it to a mon monastery, Ike. What are you talking about? A war is on. I must have the means to pay all new recruits. My lady, my pockets needn't concern you. I do not fight beside blasphemers. But you just did. Assuming you call us blasphemers. You piece of shit. Ike spurred his mount and disappeared in haste. I know not what Meave thought. Perhaps she felt some pangs of conscience, though she might also have merely shrugged. No! What the hell? Oh, get out. Trophy? That's not a card. Unbelievable. He left us. Hi. Makes no sense. Permanent resilience. What? What? Oh yeah, this is a trophy, right? I can replace my banner for it? Permanent resilience. Van Mies uses her ability. Reduce her cooldown by one. That seems pretty good. No, 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 no. no. I, I think the reduce cooldown is pretty good. And we're probably gonna put in a war wagon uh, while we're at it. 
Um, yeah, seems okay. You know, guy, I don't even care about you, Ike. It, this sucked. Wait, what, what is this? That Manticore was hoarding a lot of wood. Why? Makes no sense. I didn't think that the Manticore was so into wood. I suppose I have the resources now to craft more cards, but not Ike. Oh, can we? Oh, that would be great if you can uh, craft a fake Ike. Or may maybe the real Ike. Who's not so... Uh, like, oh my god. How does he fucking know about my gold? Mr. I don't care about gold. I snooped in and checked out that you guys have gold. Yeah, I don't know about that. Anyway, guys, uh, that's it for now. Thanks for watching and see you next time.